everybody, it's Barbara and it's a great summer Monday and today I'm going to share with you an easy recipe that you can make on the barbecue and enjoy all summer long. So today we're going to be making a grilled escarole and marinated white bean salad. It sounds so good, I can't wait to have it. So for those of you that are not familiar with escarole, this is what escarole looks like. It's a dark green leafy vegetable that belongs in the chicory family, just like endive. It's a great source of fiber, it's loaded with vitamins, minerals, and antioxidants. It's a particularly good source of folate and vitamin K. So this is a wonderful thing to include in your diet on a regular basis. It's also a good source of calcium. So we're going to be grilling this straight onto the barbecue, but before we do that, we're going to marinate the chickpeas. So I chose chickpeas, but you can use cannellini beans or whatever bean you like. We're going to marinate them with a little bit of olive oil, lime juice, salt and pepper, and then let them sit on the side, let them kind of get their juices, the flavors blend together, and then we're going to grill the escarole and combine everything. So you ready? I chose to make this with chickpeas today, so I have a can of organic chickpeas that I've rinsed off very well. Um, you can make fresh beans if you'd like, but it's very easy to just get a can of organic beans and make sure that you do rinse them. Put them in a bowl, and now we're going to add the rest of our marinade ingredients. So we're going to start by adding olive oil. And remember, the olive oil is going to be part of the dressing for the escarole, so you want to be generous with it. Put that in. Uh, then I have already some sweat, uh, fresh squeezed lime juice, so we're going to add that in as well. So yummy in the summer. And then we're going to add some salt and pepper. Mix it up well, and then we're going to put it in the refrigerator and let it marinate while we make the rest of our ingredients. So when you get the escarole, you want to cut off any brown bits and you want to clean it really well. Sometimes escarole can have sand trapped inside, so gently clean it out so make sure you get all the sand out of it. But you want to keep the leaves intact so that you can grill it more efficiently. And what we're going to do is we're going to brush this now with olive oil. So I have some olive oil here. I added a little bit of salt and pepper, not much because it's the marinade already has a little bit of salt and pepper, but just a little bit to give this its own flavor. And I'm going to brush the leaves with the olive oil. And then we're going to put that straight onto the grill. So once the leaves are well coated, we're going to put it right onto the barbecue, right on the grill. Now you want to remember that the best way to grill this sort of thing is to make sure that the barbecue is quite hot before you start. If it's not hot enough, you're just gonna, it's just going to wilt the leaves and it's not going to necessarily give it, um, leave, leave the texture in, intact. So we're going to lift this up. This has been hot. It's been gone for a while now. I'm going to put it straight on the grill. So now we're going to just check on them and see how they're doing and turn them. Ah, so this number one looks pretty good. So you can see it's getting nice and grilled on the outside. Let's see how this one's doing. Also pretty good. So we'll turn that over as well. So when you cook your vegetables, whether you grill them or, or you bake them or however you do them, you want to make you want to cook them to the point where they're still crunchy and they maintain a lot of their nutrition that way. If you cook vegetables to the point that they're soft and mushy, they lose a lot of their nutritional value. So you want to cook them, but you want to maintain some of the texture. So keep that in mind. So now we have our escarole ready, and we're going to chop it up, and we're going to mix it in with the beans, mix it all together, and we're going to have our delicious salad. So there it is. Doesn't it look beautiful? I had to adjust the flavors a little bit, so I added a little bit more olive oil, lime juice, salt, and pepper because there wasn't quite enough marinade to cover the escarole. But it's delicious now and so simple to make. If you don't have a barbecue, you can easily saute the escarole and a little bit of olive oil on in your on your stove top, or you can do a home grill if you have that. But definitely give this a try. You will not be disappointed. It's a delicious recipe. 
and so easy, like I said. So if you like tips like this and you're looking for ways to easily incorporate new habits into your life that can move you closer to your health goals, then come on over to BarbaraMendezNutrition.com and sign up for the mailing list there. Once you do, you'll get automatic updates from me once a week, whether a written blog or a video blog with another recipe or a suggestion to help move you closer to your health goals. I look forward to hearing from you after the comments and definitely give us a try. Let me know what you think. Thanks so much, everybody, and have an awesome Monday.